Okay. More items to light up my bicycle. This is uh, called a Cruisin' Brights. It's by the same people who brought you the Go Brights kit that I showed you in the past, which is an under, under, uh, under frame LED. This is more like uh, an LED disco ball. If you look on the picture, it shows that it's mounted to the handlebars and it projects downwards. Cruising brights. Now I love the, the the I love the advertising text on the back. It says, "Party blasting light projects color changing patterns. Whoop up your ride around the neighborhood to get cheers and high fives." <laughs> well, I want cheers and high fives. Runs on three triple A's for about 20 hours. Mounts to the handlebars with a uh, regular old clamp. Uh, it's pretty small. Easy on and off, high intensity red, green, and blue LED lights through a lens that projects ground effect patterns. Uh, colors and patterns change automatically. It's waterproof, made of plastic. Good deal. You can see that that's kind of what it looks like, and it's got that uh, lens right there. So let's open this up. Oh, looks like you're supposed to open it from down there, but I don't know. Instructions that tell you nothing other than that it runs on triple A, double A's, double A's, and uh, okay. So this is that's it. Cruising brights. That's nice, so it can slide off its mount. That's nice, so that'll keep it. That way, you can keep it with you, so it doesn't get stolen. I guess they're very generous with the uh, the rubber bits here. That's cool. Nothing to it, but a little switch and uh, three LEDs and a lens. Cool. Let me put some batteries in it. Okay, so I've uh, I've fitted three AA batteries into the battery holder, as you can see here. Uh, now, when you load it, <coughs> it can go in the right way or the wrong way. So you want the two separate contacts to be facing down, and you want this arrow. They put a sticker on here, which is already peeling off be facing inside there there's another arrow sticker which probably also won't last too long <clears throat> and then you just close it up like that turn it on <laughs> and check out the lights So I'll turn off my light here so you can get a better idea. That's pretty rad. That's going to be a lot of fun. I'll mount it to my bike later on. Alrighty, so I've got the cruising brights mounted to my uh, handlebars here. Okay. You can see that it uses that. Uh, like I said, that clever clamp. You don't need any special tools. And the uh, the rubber inserts that they gave you were just enough to keep this thing on here nice and tight so it doesn't move around. When it's mounted, the button is facing you. And oddly, the logo is upside down. But oh well. Let's take a look at what it does again because that's so neat. <laughs> Hold tight. Let me see if I can kill some light in here. <laughs> Alright, yeah, let's take this outside.
<laughs> All right. So, yeah, these lights are the coolest things that you can add to a bike. They're so, so fun. Uh, and they're 10 bucks each. You know, the, the, uh, the, under, the, uh, the, the, the neon green underlight, that's 10 bucks. The, uh, and the, uh, the disco light, that's another 10. It's like a, it's like a party on two wheels. <laughs>